Okay, hello everyone. So today we got a Maestro JR Dash M coming in for Pro setup. Uh, but one of the things that need to be addressed is actually the cross bracing, um, near the shoulder side. So what happens is that it actually is split halfway, um, and come this slots at the end of the the piece of uh, bracing itself. So I suggested to clamp it down, glue and clamp it down to actually add back, uh, that structure for the top plane itself. So one of the things that you want to know for the cross bracing, it doesn't only help with the tonality of the, the guitar itself, it also acts as a support to actually uh, stabilize the top plate. Because the top plate itself has, uh, has forces that actually try and bend the top plate. So if there's no cross bracing, um, the top plate can actually break in half. So this is one of the things that uh, they add to actually add structure um, across the board itself. So that is what I did. Um, stay tuned. I see you at the end. Bye. Okay, another thing is that I swapped out is actually the bridge pin. Um, again, with bridge pin, sometimes when it breaks, um, you might want to get it replaced. But getting it replaced, you get to know uh, that sometimes that the fitting is not so perfect. Um, one thing about bridge pin is that the angle, sometimes they have a 6 degree angle or sometimes there will be 3 degree angle. So um, typically, if let's say uh, the bridge pin is too big, then you might need to rim out the hole itself for the bridge. Uh, but as much as possible, we do not want to do that. Um, get the proper fit to actually uh, use on the, on the bridge itself. So yeah, that is another thing that you want to consider if you want to change your bridge pin okay bye So today we got a Maestro JR Dash M uh, mahogany top sides and back. So yeah, it's quite nice. The sound is pretty good. Uh, this has undergo uh, pro setup. Then after that, there's a bracing which break away from here. There's a cross bracing. And after that, yeah. Okay, the setup work right now on the treble side is around 2 2 mm on the 12 fret then on the bass side is 2.5 to 2.75 all right but the lay of the neck is straight from here to here is straight then after that there's a follow with here okay <laughs>
Okay, let me know when you want to pick up. The guitar is good to go. Uh, everything seems very stable. So, yeah, see you. Bye. Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like button. If you want to contact me, contact me via WhatsApp 8418995 and last but not least, Free Palestine. Bye.